Ash back at it with another one. No we in the Ranger Danger, baby. This is day one of doing like my marathon training or running, sprinting, doing whatever. And I've realized these benefits. So just off day one alone, when I was running, you know, if you're so used to going to the gym and weightlifting and doing this and that, even with the music in your headphones and in your ears and everything, um, you don't have like too many visions or uh, not as many visions as I, used, as I used to, but I just realized going out and running, especially out in nature and out in like public and stuff, I have different more visions and more like manifestations of me like accumulating wealth, of me accumulating the life that I want, of me, you know, envisioning my higher self and envisioning me of who I want to truly be. And you know, it's just certain little benefits and things that I think I'm going to learn like along the way. You know, today I was debating whether I should use music or not because, you know, I heard it's good to actually not, you know, use music or at least when you go for a run, you know, put on some sales gigs or something like that. So I think I'm going to try that next. I think next I'm going to run with, you know, maybe some sales training in the back and see if that, you know, that can maybe program my subconscious to, you know, be better at sales and et cetera, et cetera. So I just downloaded this app called Big Day and it's more of like a functional thing where like you do one day of bodybuilding, one day of running, one day of bodybuilding, one day of running. So I'm gonna try that and see, you know, how it goes. Um, I just started cooking as well. You know, I made some, some of these spicy cheesy eggs yesterday. Shout out to Benny Blanco, his book, his cookbook. So now I'm gonna go back, you know, spend some time with family, with my grandma, cook a little something up again and go back down and get some ingredients, get some dates, steak, and you know, just learn how to cook, learn how to become more of a man, more of like the man who can cook, who can provide, who can earn, who can focus, who can be present. You know, that's a big thing. And what I'm working with right now is staying focused and staying present. And I think the running, the marathon, the training and stuff like that will help with that. You know, it will help with a lot of that chit chatter in your brain because you're just pushing through, you're pushing through you know, helping with staying focused, staying focused on your breath. You know, I realized when I was running, I was focused on breathing through my nose and out through my nose. And it's, that's kind of just like meditation, you know, focusing, focusing, focusing. So it's a type of meditation, you know, running and sprinting, you know, helps as well, but running, you know, it's a, it's a big meditation thing to help with it, with my ADD, ADHD brain. So I'm slowly starting to, to take that down and you know, I'm realizing I'm having a lot more focus, a lot more, you know, just being a lot more present. So as much as, you know, running and, you know, burning a lot of these calories might burn the muscle, I think it's a big, a big mental thing that, you know, it will help with, especially you. You know, if you have been to the gym consistently and you know, you're starting to get gains, maybe go out for a run here and there and see what that mental does to you, especially if you're in a season of learning you know, if you're in a season of growth, if you're in a season of trying to start a business, if you're in a season of trying to learn certain income skills, you know, and you can't focus, go out for a quick run. Focus on your breath, you know, focus on breathing and you'll find that, you know, maybe then you step back into your work office or whatever, you have a little bit more focus, just a little bit. And day by day, you know, the snowball effect will kick in, will kick in. You know, I also realize that you know, I've been cooking and I've been eating a lot healthier. I haven't had as many carbs, which sucks because, you know, I'm looking less big, but I think that's just a big ego thing is looking big and, you know, trying to be macho, trying to be this and that. But my brain is working a lot more fast, you know? I, I realize I'm a lot more motivated. I realize I can focus a lot more easier. I can, I can truly, truly be present, you know, when I want to be. So, you know, I thought, I just get on this video and kind of say, you know, a couple of the, the different experiences too. You know, my first day run, I, I ran around the lake and, you know, I'd probably say it was about two and a half miles or something like that. And I, you know, I was starting to get a cramp in my ribs, but I pushed through it and I got through it. Um, I think eventually I'm going to get a, a Apple watch or something where I can track, truly track my workouts and track, you know, how far I go, my pace, heart rate, all that, that. So, so yeah, you know, I just wanted to say, you know, if you're into the gym or you're into this and that, and you haven't started running or doing any type of thing like that for your cardio health and just your mental, you know, try it, please. Even just this first day, first day of trying it, you know, I realize I'm a lot more focused, 
it, even just a little bit, a little bit more focused, a little bit more present, you know, just my, my brain is, I think the blood flow that you gain through those deep breaths of, you know, slowly jogging and running and just, you know, getting that blood flow through, throughout everywhere really does help, you know, it gets that snowball effect running and going. So, hey man, you know, I thought I'd just make this quick video. These videos aren't gonna be as, as, as key and as, as good as I'd like, but it's just a start. You know, I gotta get back into the start Got to get back into the swing of things. So, hey, man, I love y'all. I'm watching from afar. Comment, like, you know, what's up? I love y'all. Ash out. Mwah.